Hello and welcome to the Fishing Guide Podcast. I'm your host, Brad Weekman. Tell you what, we are at the Crappie Compound. We're at the fireplace and nothing's hotter than John Goodwin <laughs> in his brand new Sea Ark running down the lake. Isn't that that's right? right? That's right. John Godwin. Godwin. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, I just got a new Sea Ark. They call it the Flex. It's a new model, 21 uh-huh. footer. It's not a boat. It's a ship. A ship. Yeah, that thing is awesome. We came in and we thought Christopher Columbus had sailed yeah. over uh, oh, yeah. in a new Sea Ark. Man, it is quite the boat. You know, Sea Ark got with us and uh, got with uh, Jeff Smith, Chris Mann, Joel Harris, you know, several of the crappie probes and asked us what we wanted in a boat. And everybody's got their little ideas in it. It's got air ride seats. It's got, it's got right. even if you're a tournament fisherman, it has a cooling system for the live well that's wow. in the live west it's uh-huh. piped in there so big lots of space it's, you know a lot of room i had to buy stuff to fill some of the stuff up <laughs> just put some duck calls in it or yeah, something right. you know like that's right extra extra room inside there but it's actually a monstrous boat right it's there. awesome ride so, smooth so it's, let's 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 jump into um into fishing all right. Because uh, you're from uh, northeast Louisiana. Correct. And uh, just tell us about the fishing down there. Is it different? Because we're, we're here in Mississippi. Oh, yeah. We're here at the land of the giants. Yes. But uh, not quite that in Louisiana. There's a lake, uh, Poverty Point. They catch three pounders out of it. Wow. Uh, Darbone, they've, they've caught a few three pounders here and there, you know, in the spring. Right. And there's uh, Caney Lakes around there. It's a real clear lake. It has black crappie in it. And it's got uh-huh. some nice crappie in it, too. It's a brush pile fishing lake. You know, you fish brush piles on it. Right. But uh, it's it's water. I'm like, the furthest ramp is like 40 minutes from my driveway. From wow. That might have been by design. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking it was. Yeah. So uh, tell us. A lot, a lot of people like to go fishing, but they don't catch a lot. So share with us what you do to catch lots of fish. What would you do if you went out fishing? I, myself, would long line. Okay. And, um, but spider, you know, we when I first, I, I grew up, and I, you know, after, I, I can always remember Daddy having me, you know, fishing with brim fish and um Oh, I hated him. He'd throw them brim in that ice chest with the Coca-Colas. I hated <laughs> drinking them slimy Coke. Anyway, <laughs> and then I got into the bass fishing phase, and then I got into the crappie fishing phase, and then the, the jig tying phase, right. and, and all that. And we were spider rigging back then, and spider rigging is what we started doing and, and learned how to do that. That's several... Uh, rods in the front of your boat they look like spider legs out there right and that's a quick way to to catch a lot of fish fast and then i upgraded into long lining i, I really enjoy that long line and uh-huh. pulling jigs behind the boat right because anybody can do that right and so uh when you're spider rigging what what poles would you use if you were I spider rigging? Uh B and M poles and I, I use sixteen foot. It takes a little time to get used to them long poles. Right. Especially when the water with fish and some people don't realize this, but sometimes them crappie will get like just three feet under the surface. Right. But they might be in thirty feet of water. Uh huh. And you know, people think they're way down there, you know. But and when you got them short poles, you got to learn how to finagle that. But when you're long lining, you learn what jig size goes, how deep, right? At what mile an hour? My I start off at one mile an hour, and a thirty second jig will go like three feet under okay. the water at one mile an hour right. on six pound line, okay. and that's something key you need to remember. All your poles need to have the same size line on it okay because bigger lines gonna have a lot of drag uh-huh. and little lines gonna run deeper so you want to be comfortable and and learn where your jigs are running you know with that same line you know everybody's uh-huh. at the same depth sixteenths will go five foot eight to go seven foot quarters will go about twelve 
at so, one mile an hour. So you've been lucky enough to travel around and fish in some different uh, different lakes and reservoirs. What's your favorite? My favorite. My favorite yeah. is up here. Arca Butler is one of my favorite lakes because uh-huh. it's just got – it don't have the, the quantity, but right. you're going to catch some nice big crappie. Right. It's, it's just awesome. So uh, you like doing a lot of long lining now? I, yeah, do, I do it there. I'm going to do it tomorrow on Saturday. Right. So tell us your setup. What's your rig for long lining? Tell us your lure, your line, your rod. Okay. Well, I'm going to experiment tomorrow because I hadn't been here. So okay. I've got four poles uh, rigged up with eighth ounce Fin Fin Pro purple and pink. Okay. And... They're going to run, it's going, I'm going to have two eighth ounce about three feet apart. Okay. And they're going to run about 14 feet. Okay. And uh, I'm going to start off, I'm going to have four rods rigged with those, and I'm going to have four rods rigged with just the regular fin spin, double eighth ounce, with a, a curly tail. Are you going to be slider rigging curly. them? No, I'm going to no, be long lining. Oh, yeah. long lining? Yep. 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 So how do you keep eight poles under contained how do you keep them and oh you have deck hands no you don't have deck hands <laughs> i happen to know the answer hey. to this question because mark riddle come by and said you are the newest pro staffer for a cornfield oh, so yeah, I, yeah, I know yeah. see you can't <laughs> yeah you don't don't yeah sweet that's talk pretty us. neat Tell yeah I'm, I'm uh the newest uh, pro staff member for cornfield fishing gear they yeah. make all the neat Man, my boat's rigged up with the telescoping mounts on the front. Right. I can stand up and have them right in my face, or I wow. can sit in a chair and have them down. And uh, all so, American made, too. So the ones in the back, you have like, how do they look? What do they look like? The mounts? Well, they're, uh-huh. not, they're not the rod holders. Okay. Not his, but it's the for my graphs. Oh, okay. I got yep. a graph on my console with a mount, single mount for it. Right. Mm-hmm. And, and they're sturdy. I mean, there you go. And my other boat, I just got this one. Yeah. I would, because I'm short legged, I'd right. get on the tug t- of that boat and I'd have to reach up on there and I'd just grab a hold of that mount and just pull. And I'm a big fella, I'm 245. <laughs> and I get up there on that pull, just pull myself up with that mount. They're solid as a rock. Yeah. So uh, tell us about lure color, because you've gotten to fish in a lot of different yeah, places. Yeah. How do you select what color lure you're going to use when you go to a new lake? I'm going to look at the water clarity. Uh-huh. How it's, uh, if it's clear, I'm going to go with more natural colors, more shad-looking colors. And if it's stained, I'm going to go with some more brighter colors uh-huh. for a good dark silhouette that they can see. And muddy water, I'm going to go like oranges or... Purples and chartreuses and stuff like that. So the question is, minnows or lures? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, you're absolutely right. <laughs> Break it down. When would you use lures and when would you use uh, minnows? Minnows would come into play spring, right after spring. Uh-huh. They'll hit jigs. I tip my jigs a lot okay. with minnows. I use crappie right. magnets and they got like a little split tail. Right. It's perfect for that. Perfect. And uh, in a hot, hot summertime, just fixing to come up, I'd, I'd use a menace. Okay. And in the wintertime, of course. In, in minnows. So yep. well, what are you going to do if it's windy out and you're one pulling? Because a lot of people, you know, I'm firing some questions at you. These are questions that guys want to know that they don't get to fish a lot. But mm-hmm. when they do go out fishing, it's windy. How yeah. do you How do you? You know, how are you going to fish in that situation? Well, that's good. That's good to uh, long line in because if you're spider rigging yeah. and it's windy, your poles are doing this. Right. They're bobbing. And crappie don't really like that. We call them jigs, but crappie really like them still. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't, I don't know where that came from. But you'll catch more fish if you just have them at a steady plane. Okay. And Long lining allows you to do that, even in rough water. But if you if you are uh, one poling, you said one poling is yeah. very good for for when it's windy because they're not in racks. Okay. You're holding them. You need to hold them right. because that way you can you can take 
that boat lift and drop out of the equation you know, right. with your arm and hold it more steady. So, and, of course, going into the wind, a big wind, you got boat control. It's a big deal when you're wind right. pulling or whatever. But then you got to deal with the boat slap, the wave right. slap. So a good thing to do, actually, would be if you had power poles or raptors right. and had the drift paddles on them, you could put them down and just go with the wind. Yeah. And that'll take all that slap out. Or drift socks. You can use right. drift socks. So the question is, uh, crappie brakes, to break or not to break? Do you have crappie brakes? Are you buying crappie brakes? I don't have them yet, but uh, I can see them in my future. You can, like how, like a couple days or something? It's, getting them. Uh, it's not going to be very long. <laughs> <laughs> why, why are crappie, in case people haven't or don't have they crappie are, brakes, uh, explain what they are they and, and are what they do. Trolling motors on your power poles. All your raptors, and you lift them halfway down, and them, and the two trailer motors are on the back of your boat, facing opposite. So as you're going, you can you got a like a dimmer switch, stomp switch on your deck. Right. You hit that stomp switch, and that them trailer motors come on, and it just stops you. Right. So if you're coming up on them, you see a crappie on a piece of pole timber or something, but you're going too fast, you just hit that. Because if you spin that trailer motor around, you're going to wash him out, spook him out. Right. But them trailer right. motors are way back there. You hit uh-huh. them, and you can stop them. Daddy, my daddy was looking at all these new electronics and all yeah. this new stuff that's coming around. He said, you cheating, boy. I said, <laughs> pass me the ketchup, won't you? <laughs> Pretty hard. Uh, one pulling the distance that you're pitching to or you're fishing, mm-hmm. that's huge, isn't it? It is in this new forward-facing sonar. Well, there's people even using 20-foot poles now. Wow. Yep, to get way out there so you don't spook the fish so bad. Yeah, I don't want to say anything, but I actually caught fish today on a 20-foot pole. Did you? Uh, yeah, oh. I did. So uh, I did. Boy, that's long. Did that's, you have that little that mighty or whatever? That was long. I was thinking we were going to have to go to a bigger lake uh, yeah. so yeah. I could cast. You care it's about fishing in the next county. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is, is that legal to catch that crappie over yeah, there? That's in the other but, lake. <laughs> yeah. Uh, B and M poles. What's your favorite ones that you're my that favorite you've been ones? With? I'm using well when I'm long line. I love to use them Duck Commander series pole trolling okay. poles. All right. And when not I'm, surprising. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. And uh, I like the diamonds. They got a new black diamond that's pretty awesome. Sixteen, 16 footer. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I love them new seventy five series. Oh, the anniversary. Oh, they combo. are awesome. That combo, yeah. Uh-huh. It's got the right stiffness, the right backbone. It's just it's just perfect. Wow. What else? So if you could give one last thing. You give a tip to an angler that's going out there fishing, and he doesn't get to fish all the time, and he's a weekend angler, but he wants to catch fish. What's the tip that you give to him that would help them the most to catch more fish? Don't think crappie are deeper than what you think they are. There's there's crappie will be shallow all the time, and it's you just spider rigging. You learn how to do that. Uh-huh. Get you some good baits. Get good boat control, and you're gonna catch them. All right. Well, that sounds good. That takes us over to uh, Pico to uh, tackle time, and it's sponsored by Pico Lures. Pico Lures case has a full line of hard and soft baits. They even got crank baits. We didn't even talk about, but mm. crank baits are yeah, uh, an might easy. Pull some of them tomorrow too. Yeah, is an easy way of catching fish. Uh, anyway, and they also have a Vanguard tackle, which is a series of fishing tools. So you can check them out at PicoLures.com. John, if they want to mm. see more about you and how you catching these fish, uh, where would they go? Well, we got a YouTube channel. And you know, of course, I work for Duck Commander, and right. uh, we've got another uh, deal called Fin Commander, and we got content on YouTube page. So look for, on uh, YouTube for Fin Commander content. Right. We're trying to get it out every week. So wow! And you're supposed to like and share. There you go. Like and share. <laughs> like and share, John. That's what you need to <laughs> That's do. Right. Sounds great. Anyway, I always like to end the show. Make sure you keep your hook sharp. And your lures in the water. Appreciate you being here, John. Thanks for having me.